I'm a government employee, so I have a 457. We do not get the employer match. How would you apply this to the rules of the stairway to wealth? So this is a fantastic question because the stairway to wealth, the way that it works is step two is to get your 401k match or the equivalent. So if you have a 403b or anything along those lines, you wanna try to get that match if that match is offered to you. The reason why is this is absolutely free money. Getting that employer match is free money. So you always wanna get that up front. But if that match is not available to you, and when it comes to anything within the stairway to wealth, if it's not available to you, then what you want to do is just jump to the next step. So the next step in this situation would be going to high interest debt and paying down your high interest debt. The reason why we put the match before high interest debt is because your 401k match is 100% return. Then paying off that high interest debt, anything above five, 6% is definitely something you want to consider paying down so that you can get rid of those high interest debt and start really building wealth over time. Now, if it's low interest debt below 5%, maybe it's your mortgage or something along those lines, then you don't have to pay off the low interest debt. But we're just looking at high interest debt here. Now, if you don't have high interest debt, the thing you'd wanna do next is jump to the next step, which is to build up your emergency fund. And building up that emergency fund, making sure you have that three to six months expenses is also incredibly important. But if you're looking at it from the investor's level, say you wanna get the 401k match, you already got your emergency fund in place, you already have your high interest debt paid off, then you wanna to jump to the next level, which is the Roth or the HSA level. Now we have the Roth and the HSA level as something definitely something you want to consider investing in because this is going to make you hit your minimum investment goals. Now we talk about minimum investment goals as something is the baseline that you want to actually hit some of your goals so that you can retire with at least at a minimum, the amount that you want to retire with where you can live comfortably. Then after that, you do some wealth accelerators and some wealth builders at well, which we could talk about. And if you haven't heard the stairway to wealth episode, I would definitely check that out because that is the order to put your money in. It's the order we talk about to put your dollars in so that you aren't second guessing yourself. Like what do I do next with my next dollar? Should I build up my emergency fund? Should I pay off debt? Should I invest in a Roth IRA? Should I invest in my 401k? Should I invest in real estate? All these different things. The stairway to wealth actually lays that out in the exact order. So if something's not available to you, like in this example, the 457 does not have a match, then you just jump to the next step. And you always wanna jump to that next step if something's not available to you. Now we're gonna be continually adding things to the stairway to wealth. A couple of things that we have in mind is we wanna add some wealth accelerators in there. Like when should you invest in real estate? When should you buy your first house if you're interested in buying a house for you and your family? We're gonna add some of those things to the stairway to wealth as well. And each year we're gonna be adding to it as your questions come up. So if you have some questions and you think something is missing within the stairway to wealth, make sure you let me know. Hit me up on Instagram at Master Money Co. or hit me up on TikTok at Master Money Co. and let me know, hey, I don't know where this fits into the stairway to wealth. Can you let me know? We'll add it in there if it's something that we need to make fit. And in addition, we'll also answer your question on those platforms as well. So making sure that you check in with that because we want to make the stairway to wealth as complete as we possibly can. Can. And as we get closer to making it complete, we're going to release courses and things like that on the stairway to wealth to do extreme deep dives on each step for you guys so that you have that available to you, you have that information available to you because the stairway to wealth is one of the most important things that we've released because we want you to know the order to put your money. It's the roadmap to follow so that you know where do I put my next dollar and what do I do next. So we love the stairway to wealth here at Master Money and the Personal Finance Podcast. So make sure if you haven't heard that episode, it's one of the most important episodes for you to check out. And we will link it down below as well so that if you haven't heard that episode, you can check that out as well. And the printable is also, we have a downloadable printable where you can read about the stairway to wealth in the show notes and down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this money Q&A video. If you guys have any questions or want to leave a question with me, hit me up on Instagram or TikTok at Master Money Co. And if you like this video, here's another Q&A video that I know you're going to love.